Oh yeah, for the money! Two for the show, party people in the place to be. What's going on? It's me, it's me. And, uh, as is per usual here at Two Drink Minimum Reactions, I was not going to do anything today. <laughs> I still have a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton of editing to do. I've got house stuff to do. I've got uh, budgets to go over, video games to play, laundry to do. Uh, dishes to wash, all that shit, but as I woke up super late on this Saturday as I'm taping this, <coughs> excuse me, I came across a, hold on, have to, because my hair is fucked up, okay, so I came across a couple of news stories that need attention, and we're going to go and give them attention right now, this is a two drink minimum news update. Either way, credits! Welcome back. This is uh, indeed a two drink minimum uh, news update. It is, uh. Oh. Well, first of all, we have sad news. Amaretto's gone. Bye, Amaretto. That's the last of that. That is the last of the Amaretto, at least for now. Um. Uh, yeah, so here's the news update, part of people, and the place to be, you see, is the news update, and of course the news is about the Bill Cosby, oh, ha, 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 you see, because with the Cosby is the thing that's happening now, and it's quite depolarizing, and we're going to find out that it's in it, 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 it. Now, this was all over my Facebook, I tried to find a couple of different places, uh, a couple of different, uh, more new sites that I usually go to um, to give me some better stories, but I guess it was too early for them to have it, really, or something like that. I don't know. Um, so we're going to go with USA Today on this one, and I really don't want to do USA Today. I really don't, but we're going to go on USA Today uh, at least for a while, and we're going we're gonna to go with them, and we're going to see what they have to offer. Uh, let's see. The headline is Cosby Accuser Aims for Criminal Charges. A former Cosby Show actress who says Bill Cosby drugged and raped her in the early 90s has gone to the police in New Jersey, a state with no statute of limitation for rape. Lily Bernard, uh, who made a guest appearance on Cosby Show's on Cosby Show, bring it down, in this last season and was mentored by the comedian, was one of two accusers who went public Friday to allege that Cosby drugged and raped them decades ago. Now she wants him prosecuted for a crime. Both new accusers were introduced at a New York press conference by Gloria, don't call me Al Sharpton Allred, the women's rights lawyer who's, who's has, see this is why I didn't want to go to USA Today, who has become U Cosby's main legal adversary, representing 17 of the more than 40 women, 40 women. And we're going to, I want you to put a pin in that one, because we're going to come right back to that one in just a few seconds. In recent, who in recent months have accused Cosby of assaulting them in episodes dating back as far as the 1960s. You know that pin I told you to put in the 40 plus women? I want you to put another pin right where it says 1960s. Okay? Put a pin there. Cosby has denied all wrongdoing and has been and has not been charged with a crime. Most of its most of his accusers say they were assaulted at times and places where the statutes of limitations have expired. Now Allred has put forward an accuser who hopes to get around that. Allred said she and Bernard went to police in Atlantic City on Thursday, where they spent five hours being interviewed by detectives. Unlike most other states, New Jersey has no statute of limitations for rape. Which means that law enforcement is not prevented from prosecuting a case because of an arbitrary time period set by law. Um, I don't know how arbitrary it is, but yes, it, I guess you could argue that's arbitrary, set by law. Bernard did not provide specifics of what happened to her. It wasn't clear, for instance, if what she says happened ha happened to her in New Jersey. But she says Cosby drugged and raped her, and during their last encounter in the show studio in 1992 he threatened her in a way that left her in fear of her life she subsequently became suicidal was hospitalized went into therapy 
and still suffers from panic attacks, she says. I stand here to take back my power and to confront the fear that has paralyzed me for so many years. The other accuser is Sammy Mays, a writer who says she met Cosby, Bill Cosby, in 1986 or 87 while covering a convention in New Orleans that he attended. He agreed to an interview. They went to his, why is it 86 or 87? Um, we'll put a pin in that one, too. He agreed to an interview. They went to his hotel room. He fixed her a drink, and she lost consciousness. She awoke to find herself half undressed and falling out of a chair. She now believes she was raped while she was unconscious, but at the time, she pretended her knockout was her fault, quote-unquote knockout. She apologized and fled. I never wanted to see Bill Cosby again or ever talk about him. We'll put another pin in that one. Put a pin in I never wanted to see Bill Cosby again. That is, until all these many years later, I learned Bill Cosby preyed upon other women in somewhat the same manner. All Red said she would join protesters in Atlanta on Saturday where Cosby is scheduled to perform. Of course she will. Of course she will. Because she said that and now there's going to be cameras there. Of course she said that. Scheduled to perform in one of the last shows of his current tour. Earlier this week, he released a statement saying he was looking forward to the show. Okay. And that is the end of that uh, story from USA Today. Now, I wanted you to put some pins in a couple of things. Now, okay, let's, let's start off. Let's start at the start. I have not said anything in my videos about Bill Cosby and while I've been doing this a lot of a lot of uh accusers have come forward and so on and so forth but this that's never made the news here because I just didn't want to get into that. I didn't I didn't I didn't want to get into that with these videos. I didn't want to take it to that place in these videos. I didn't want cuz cuz all the controversy surrounding it and you polarize a great deal of your audience. But but now I've said some I've said things about it on social media. I've gotten a lot of people upset. Uh, but here's the thing: I had to do this now because I woke up and that was one of the first things on my Facebook, and I had, and I, I just had to say this now. Um, I don't believe he did it. I'm going on record as to saying I don't believe Bill Cosby drugged and raped 40 plus women over his lifetime. Uh, that does not make me a sexist. Fuck you if that's the first... Oh, you hate women. Fuck you. Looking at what... Looking at the stories, it doesn't jive. It doesn't make sense. Okay? Let's... Let's start at the start. Because one of the first things that happens, and a lot of people have said... Have gone out and said, why can't we believe... Look at all these women. You mean to tell me we can't believe all these women? Uh, people, celebrities I respect, uh, comedians I like, uh, for instance, I like, love me some Jim Norton, uh, and he's come out and said that all of these women must mean that he's, that he, he did it where there's smoke, there's fire, and there's a bunch of others, uh, Larry Wilmore, who I don't really respect, <laughs> who, uh, kind of, after his, after watching his first show and how they edited the fuck out of that, fuck him, but, um, a bunch of other comedians and celebrities have come out and said so something along the lines of where there's smoke, there's fire. No, there isn't. That's not necessarily true. It 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 fucking isn't. Okay? Uh oh, how can all these women tell the same story? Fucking easy. Here, here. I'll do it right now. So Bill Cosby met me at a convention somewhere in the South, sometime in the 80s, and he drugged me, and I woke up in a futon and half dressed and I felt like I had been raped but I didn't really know and I didn't want to see him again so I just got my stuff and left <laughs> what I just told the same story that 40 fucking other people fucking told how was I able to do that because I heard their story and I was able to fucking parrot it it's not hard shit shit like that happens all the goddamn time why is it in this particular instance you can't possibly believe that more than one person would tell a similar story after they've heard somebody else tell it for some reason? What the fuck? That's a stupid argument to say they can't all be telling the same story. Yes, the fuck they can. Are you cop? 
First of all, you motherfuckers who say that are the same motherfuckers who talk about the thin blue shield and the thin blue line and how cops cover for themselves and how the evidence is right and blah, 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 and the latest black man to get killed is being covered up by the cops. How could they possibly be covered up by the cops, you say? Because the cops are telling the same fucking story that they heard another fucking cop tell them to say. You fucking motar. And it's just stupid reasoning that these women, so that because they have vagina, because they're car-carrying vagina carriers, can't possibly be doing the same fucking thing cops do all the time, or anybody else who you don't believe does all the fucking time. That reasoning doesn't make any fucking sense. Okay, so now we're going to go back to our pins, you understand, party people? Here we go. Now, Gloria all blah, 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 we'll go back to the paragraph that says, both new accusers were introduced at the New York press conference by Gloria, don't call me Al Sharpton, all red. The women's rights lawyer, who has become Cosby's main legal adversary, representing 17 of the more than 40 women. Put a pin in that right there. We're going to take that pin right out. 40 plus women. I don't know about you, but I, you know what? I don't. Okay, here, here's what I'll say. In my personal experience, I don't know how many women I've been out with. Might be more than 40, might be less than 40. I've lost count. I can tell you firsthand that. A couple of them have talked about me, despite how I thought we left things. A couple of them have come out and talked about me on social media or to their friends or whatever the fuck. Whether there's good experiences or bad experiences. I found out a chick decided not to fucking talk to me again because I split the bill with her. How did I know that? She fucking told people. So you mean to tell me that 40 plus, you mean to tell me that in 40 plus women over 50 plus years, not one of them was pissed enough, mad enough, sad enough, whatever the fuck enough to say anything? Are you, shut the fuck up. Come on. Are you kidding me? Yes, I'm speaking in generalizations now. Fucking sue me. But generally speaking, women have big fucking mouths. So do men. We talk about, we talk, we talk as much, we talk about as much shit as women do. Yes, we do. So what I'm saying is people, then people, I'm speaking generally about people, have big fucking mouths. You mean to tell me that it wasn't until just recently that fucking one of them said something? Get the holy fuck out of here. Come on. Come the fuck on. Are you shitting me? With websites like don'tdatehergirl.com and all that other bullshit? If you have, if the average size penis for that last estimate was like six and a half, if you have a fucking six inch dick, your name is going on don'tdatehergirl.com or whatever the fuck it is. Are you shitting me? Let alone drugging and raping? Man, come on. Come on. Come on, Shelly. Come on. You mean to tell me that all this fucking time, nobody said anything? Nobody up until recently? They couldn't say anything up until recently? Okay. Some of you actually do believe that. And so here we go. Here's the next thing. You're going to say, well, he had all this power. He was America's father. He was America's dad. Remember that second pin we put in the shit? Accused Cosby of, Cosby of assaulting them in episodes dating back as far as the 1960s. History lesson time. Roll that credit. All right, my little ponies. Time for class. Thank you. Now, for all you party people who weren't around in the 60s, and all you party people who didn't take history at all, didn't see Selma, didn't watch... Uh, fucking X didn't see, didn't see anything as, as simple as my friend, uh, Martin. There is zero chance that Bill Cosby could have drugged and raped multiple women in the 1960s and 70s. He was not America's dad. Until at least a couple of seasons into the Cosby show, which debuted in 84, I believe. 
In the 1960s and 70s, Cosby was a famous, prominent, but not all-powerful comedian and actor. He rubbed shoulders with and kicked it with and hung out with people like Sidney Poitier, Ozzie Davis and Ruby Dee, uh, Harry Belafonte. People who were, while I don't really remember him being all that active in the civil rights movement, in all the retrospectives I've seen, like there wasn't a whole lot of, of him in there. He hung out with a whole bunch of people who were. In a time when uh, the people in power were not only predominantly right, white men, but predominantly old white racist men. Uh, in a great deal, in a great deal of, of instances. Um, in a time where if there was anything on Bill Cos on the record of one of these revolutionaries, at a time where the, the idea of you have to be better than was cultivated in this time period, maybe a little bit before, but was cultivated in this time period. The idea that if you're black, you need to get A pluses in order to overshadow the white guy who gets C minuses for the same position. That would this was around that time that that was cultivated and it extended into what you did socially. You had to be an upstanding member of the community. Church was a big thing to Americans then, and you had to go to church. You had to look a certain way, and your pinstripes had to be straighter, and your tie had to be tighter, and your shirts had to be crisper, and all this other stuff had to be better then in order to be seen as equal then, and with good reason at that time. I totally understand the reasoning behind that. Because part of the reason was, guess what? They blamed black men for shit that they didn't necessarily do. If a white girl came up pregnant and the baby was black, they strung a nigga up. Whether the sex was consensual or not, they strung a nigga up. And, the, and uh, there were plenty of times when a white woman would say that it was rape because guess what? If she didn't, they would have strung her ass up too. So take what I just said there and what I just said 30 seconds ago. Bill Cosby was a prominent uh, famous black comedian and actor. If they had one iota of a thought of a notion that he drugged and raped one, let alone multiple, pretty young white women in the 60s and 70s, nigga, they'd have burned the tree he was hanging on. Are you shitting me? They would have fucking burn the they would have buried and burned the tree that nigga was still swinging from bill cosby would not have he was not america's grand he was not america's dad or granddad then if bill cosby had done what they said he did to multiple pretty young white women in the 60s and 70s he wouldn't have been bill cosby he would have been strange fucking fruit now you can make the argument that when he was at the absolute height of his popularity in the 80s and 90s, he could have gotten away with that. You can make that argument because Bill Cosby had enough money that he would he he could have bought NBC, except they stopped it. That's another point. Even in the 80s and 90s, when he was America's dad, he could have bought NBC, but it was stopped. The people in power is like, oh, we let that nigga get away with too much. No, you can't have this channel. Why, why not then? Why not then? What, what would the people in power then say, oh yeah, that, oh, oh, you want to buy NBC? Well, guess what, nigga? You raped this pretty young white woman 20 years ago, and 10 years ago, and 5 years ago, and last year. Are you shitting me? Now, is Bill Cosby, uh, does, did Bill Cosby have extramarital affairs? Yeah, pretty documented. Is Bill Cosby a jerk? A lot of people say he is. Uh, outside the camera, a lot of people say that uh, behind the scenes and, and, you know, different circumstances, Bill Cosby is not a nice guy. A lot of people say that. That's fine. But to jump from that to, to rapists, to multiple druggists and rapists, it doesn't fit. They don't fucking fit. They just, they, they really just don't. At least not, especially not 40 plus. If you want to come out and say that there's one and there was somebody who came out and said there was one about 10 years ago or so, uh, 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 about 10 years ago or so, we can talk about that. 
We can have that discussion. Why did she disappear? Why did she take the settlement? Why? Yeah, we can talk about that then. We can talk. You know what? If if all of these allegations had come out after the Cosby Show had debuted, we could talk about that. But the fact that a good portion or more than half of them came out when Bill Cosby would have just been that burnt nigga in that sequoia or sycamore, whatever fucking tree they hung niggas from, are you? Come on! Come on! You've got to be fucking shitting me. And I don't believe that there are people who get on board with this because Gloria Allred's on board with this. Those are the same type of people who get on board with shit because Al Sharpton or Jesse Jackson's on board with with shit. And you understand? And let me let me explain something to you about Reverend Al and Reverend Jesse. As soon as they jump on some shit, I jump the fuck off. Because those motherfuckers are poverty pimps. They play the black community and they don't do shit to, to revitalize it. They don't do shit to uplift it. They don't do shit for it. And it's the same thing with Gloria Allred. She is a woman's rights pimp. She fucking glo she fucking ex she she plays that fucking system and she plays that fucking fiddle and you new wave tumbler feminists are feeding that fucking Audrey two of a monster more and more and and she you know what she is not she doesn't do shit now she may have done shit in the past the same thing with Al Sharpton and Jesse Jackson they may have done some shit in the past and even then a lot of that shit was fucking shady but now they're fucking irrelevant. And Gloria Allred is relevant now only because of the current wave of feminism. I don't believe shit she has to fucking say at all. At all. Uh, so when this came on my fucking Facebook feed, I'm like, you've got to be fucking kidding me. Like, seriously. At what point do people, un do people believe that the number is just fucking ridiculous? At what point do they look at facts and they think, I, because when it first broke, I'm like, wow, that's fucked up, but, you know, it's not, it's not unheard of, celebrities fall all the fucking time, and that's another thing, don't you think they would have loved to have seen a prominent black celebrity who is, who is, who is best fucking friends with prominent black members of the civil rights movement, wouldn't you think they would have loved to see that nigga fry if for no other reason than to discredit the other people in the fucking movement? Come on. Come on. You've got to be shitting me. Here's what I'm going to say. I don't believe any of the shit that was said before, Cos before the Cosby Show debuted. I don't. Because there is, there are way, there are way too many times that nigga could have fried, way too many. And I don't believe most of the allegations that came out after the Cosby Show debuted, because there are way too many allegations total. There just are. I'm sorry, there just are. Now, if you, now if this were just some random black dude getting away with this shit, we could talk. This is a prominent fucking celebrity who everybody knows and who, if you're a victim of his, you have the entire world talking about how great he is and all the things he's done in the black universities and blah, and blah, and blah, and blah, and blah. You mean to tell... <laughs> there are women who can't stand when fucking celebrities are on celebrity shows pipping their shit because, oh, that bitch is blah, blah, blah. You mean to tell me that there isn't one woman out of the 40-plus up until recently that didn't see Bill Cosby hocking Jello or New Coke that didn't think, damn, fuck that nigga. I'm going to go and tell the fucking police? Come on. Where's the common sense? Where is the common sense in this fucking thing? In this whole story? In, in the whole in the whole story, the allegations, where is the common sense? And then you want to jump on people who say stuff like that. You want to jump all over Felicia Rashad and Keisha Knight Pulley. Fuck, wait, what the fuck? Where's particularly let's talk about Miss Felicia Rashad. You want to jump all over her for saying it's an it, it's a desecration of a man's it's an assassination of a man's legacy. Oh, well, she's just looking for that money. Bitch, she's got money. I guarantee you, Felicia Rashad, 
is not sitting at the fucking welfare office anytime soon. She's got her cash. She is straight. You understand? Where she came from when she made those statements was a place of <laughs> rationality. In this world of instant shit and, and internet gobbledygook and, and all that and all the fluff in the 24-hour news cycle and just jumping to conclusions, she came to a place of goddammit rationality. And that's the same place I'm coming from. There are things that prevent me from believing 100% of these allegations. Now, if there was one or two, may, may, two is stretching it, but if there's one, maybe two, maybe we could talk. But the fact that every chick and her mama wants to jump on board this fucking train, that really doesn't make any sense. It really doesn't. It, 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 it just doesn't make any sense. No, I'm not saying Bill Cosby's a nice guy. No, I'm not saying Bill Cosby hasn't cheated on his wife. Even my my feelings on monogamy aside, or even with my feelings on monogamy, Bill Cosby chose the monogamous path, and and the fact that he cheated on his wife means that he went against that, and and you can judge that as you decide to judge it. But the the alleg the allegation of rape, which in today's culture is tantamount to fucking murder. The allegation of multiple rapes in the face of fucking logical shit like in the 60s and 70s, if Bill Cosby so much has got a goddamn traffic ticket, <laughs> that shit would have been on the fucking news. Let alone drugging and raping multiple pretty white women. Seriously? Is it, I, it's, and this just seems like an epidemic, or a symptom rather, of this rabid wave of feminism, that which is one of the, one of the battle cries is, we gotta believe all women, we gotta believe all women. No, you don't. No, you don't. Because rape is a crime that's tantamount to murder, you have to find the facts. You have to make sure that A, something happened, two, you get the right person who committed said crime, then you can go to judgment. You shouldn't just jump to fucking judgment. Because stories can be wrong, women can lie. How can you say, because they're humans. Humans fucking lie. Humans do shit for all kinds of fucking reasons, or no fucking reasons at all. You wanna, how about Mr. Brian Banks? You wanna talk about prime examples. He went to school not too far from where I am right now, high schooler. On his way to, to college and on his way possibly to the NFL and all this other shit. And he got his life totally derailed and off track by a false rape allegation. So don't come to me and tell me we have to believe every woman all the fucking time. No, we don't. The same way we don't have to believe every person who comes in to a fucking police station and says they were robbed of something. You know what? Ha robbery is a fucking crime, too. And you know what happens when you go in and you say you were robbed? The police get a statement and they question that statement over and over and over again. They figure out whether you actually had said possession in the first place, whether it was yours. They figure all this shit out before they go ahead and look for somebody or before they go ahead and convict somebody they don't you cannot rush the fucking judgment people that is bullshit that is witch trial shit that is bush league shit and that is bullshit but you go on ahead you burn your DVDs of Bill Cosby. You dur you burn your, uh, what was that show it was on? Picture, picture, right? You burn all those DVDs and you erase all the electric company from your DVRs and all that other shit. You can go ahead and do that. That's fine. Because it's your right to believe that. But understand that you're coming from a place of irrationality. You're coming from a place where there's no evidence. Uh, where the stories all sound alike because, well, it's kind of easy to copy and paste a fucking story. And you're coming from a place, like I said before, of absolute abject, abject, ab absolute 
irrationality. You're just looking at the you're just looking at the at the fucking epidermis of the story. You have to dig deeper. You have to ask questions. You have to ask how was it that this guy, this bl prominent black guy in the 60s and 70s, was able to get away with these horrific crimes in a time where they'd have killed him. They'd have fucking killed him. How? They were still they were still assassinating niggas. They were still shooting motherfuckers on balconies and in meetings and shit. They were shooting motherfuckers who were doing much less than what he was accused of. How? How? Why? When is it fucking important? When is one of the biggest factors of why I don't believe this story? So you have to ask yourself that question. You have to ask yourself, why is it I automatically believe what I believe so fervently? You have to check the shit you believe in all the time. Because if you don't, you fall into extremism, and that is never good on either side of the spectrum. And this is a perfect example of that. So no, I don't believe this at all. And you can comment below and tell me why you do. And tell me why I'm wrong. Try to argue the racism in the 60s and 70s. Try to argue the ludicrous amount of numbers of women at this point. Try to argue that these women couldn't possibly just be parroting each other at this point. Go ahead. Go ahead and try it. And we can have that discussion down below. But from my standpoint, this doesn't make any sense. Sorry. Peace. Sit like city, 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 sit like city